Welcome to my presentation. I will demonstrate how Microtrace was easily adapted to deploy the Hantanet tool for hantavirus genomic epidemiology and surveillance. Hantanet is a hantavirus specific visualization and analysis tool powered by Microtrace that facilitates data integration and sharing of standardized sequence and metadata of the hantavirus genome. We built three models containing preloaded reference datasets of the small, medium, and large genes. You can customize views and build dashboards in Hantanet. And since Hantanet is a browser based visualization tool, it is secure and remains operational without an internet connection, which protects sensitive data. Users can download the reference dataset and use it to standardize their own data for visualization and analysis. Networks and phylogenetic trees are two different ways to visualize the genetic relatedness of sequences. This is the medium gene model displaying the network and unrooted phylogenetic tree after applying the TN93 nucleotide substitution model. Both views show genetic clustering of new sequences in yellow. Networks are easier to explore because a distance cutoff can be applied to see the differences information of genetic links. In this case, the cutoff is 0.2. Networks also simplify visualization of gene reassortment, a mechanism for evolution of viruses with segmented genomes. I will demonstrate how to build a dashboard in Hantanet to analyze new hantavirus sequences. First, accept the license agreement and launch the module of interest. Load the metadata and FASTA files and make sure the correct file type is selected. Relaunch the module and if needed, unpin the nodes and centralize the network. You can change the color of the nodes representing the new sequences. For example, I changed the node color to yellow. There are two different strains in this cluster, so I decrease the genetic distance cutoff to remove the link and separate them. Now open the map view and choose to display nodes by state. Note the genetic links in the map. Select to view the timeline based on the collection date to display geographic and temporal data. Drag the network tile next to the map tile to view the dashboard view. Move the tables and views to the desired positions. Now play the timeline and see the appearance of nodes and clusters by collection date and geographic location. The map view can be customized to add tooltip and adjust the transparency of the links. You can add more tiles or views to your dashboard. As you can see, this is a very user-friendly process. Previously, we analyzed the large gene of C number viruses collected in the United States. We observed two main groups, which we named SMV1 and SMV2. The nearest neighbor algorithm was applied to prune the genetic links to keep the connection between the closest nodes. This is equivalent to the minimum spanning tree and the link width is proportional to the genetic distance. The yellow nodes represent the sequences of interest, which could be outbreak or new sequences. The network was overlaid on the map to perform a spatial temporal analysis of domestic in number variants. In this video, we observe the geographic location and spread of C number variants in the United States and potential human exposure locations based on sequence similarity of the viral large gene. Nodes with a number label and a viable state and county level data will appear in the map. Finally, in this model of Hanta virus active target surveillance, we anticipate the need for bioinformatic tools that allow for real-time data integration, visualization, and analysis. And this can be possible with Microtrace. In conclusion, Hantanet is a model on how to deploy pathogen-specific tools with Microtrace for genomic surveillance, epidemiology, and outbreak response. I want to acknowledge the Hantanet project team and please visit the project sites in GitHub and feel free to contact the Microtrace team for technical support collaborations or to request a demo. 
I have included a link in the chat and in this slide, or scan the QR code to complete a short survey about microbe trace. Thank you.